this year, I'm going to become a hacker. means I'm gonna hack into a big company, steal all their data, uh, make a ton of money, right? And uh, wear a mask like this, of course. No, I I'm not gonna do that. Now, there are hackers that actually do that, uh, but that's not my goal. Now, don't get me wrong. I want to know how to do it. I wanna learn the skills of how to break into a company and do that, but I don't want to actually do it. Well, not illegally, anyway. I wanna do it ethically which is often referred to as an ethical hacker or a white hat hacker. We'll talk more about that here in a moment. But first, I wanna cover two things real quick. First, why do I want to become a hacker? And two, uh, what does it mean to say I want to become a hacker? Because it's just, it's kind of a buzzword, right? Mr. Robot, what does that mean? My number one reason for wanting to become a hacker is that it's just cool. I mean, it, it, it looks cool, it sounds cool. I made a video last year where I hacked, um, redacted company because that said company came after me. Uh, I hacked a company's Wi-Fi, kind of, and it was so fun. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I wanna do more of that. And I want to show you how to do more of that. Now, the other big reason I wanna do this is because for a long time, I've been on the, the other side of the mask, kind of like, you know, here. I've been securing networks. I've been securing companies. Um, I made sure networks are nice and secure that, so that guys like this can't hack into it. Systems, clouds, that's been the majority of what I've been doing. But now I think it'd be so fun just to go on the other side of the mask <laughs> and uh, check it out to see what I've been missing. And I also think that learning how to hack makes you better at securing your network and your infrastructure. And I also think that learning how to hack will be one of the best skills you can learn to further your career. I just made a video of the top five skills I think you need in 2020 to be crazy successful in IT and hacking was on there as well as security and as well as a few of the skills I'm mentioning here of which is how I'm going to become a hacker. You have to learn skills to become a hacker. Now let's get back to that whole ethical hacker thing. What is that? Well, just like any good story, any any good theme, Star Wars, Harry Potter, there's a there's a light side, a good side, and then there's a, a bad side, a dark side. And hacking, it's the same thing. You're gonna be a Jedi or you're gonna be a Sith. Anybody see the latest movie? I thought it was okay. The skills you learn to become a hacker, whether you're good or bad, will be pretty much the same. You're gonna have kind of the same skill set, but it's what you do with that skill set that makes you a white hat hacker, a hacker for good, and then a black hat hacker, an evil nefarious hacker. But what, what makes a good and bad hacker? Let's talk about the bad guys first. The guys you see typically wearing masks like this. This is the anonymous mask, right? Or someone will yell at me. It's actually the Guy Fox mask. I got that. But it's people who hack companies to steal data and then sell that data like on the dark web or something. They're trying to benefit financially from their, their hacking or to cause harm or to bring down governments. Like what? It's nefarious. But on the flip side, the white hat hackers the guys who may not, you know, wear the mask, they, they don't wear a mask. They say, hey, I'm a hacker, but I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to help you. So companies like companies I've worked for where I will build up my security and make sure my network is awesome. I think it's awesome, right? Like I think no one's getting in here, but do I actually know? How can I test this? That's where a white hat ethical hacker comes in. I will hire an ethical hacker. Say, hey, Mr. Hacker, good hacker. Are you a Jedi? Okay. Um, Come try to break into my network and see if you can get in. So the ethical hacker will come in with his hacking skills and try to penetrate my network. It's often called a penetration tester. They see if they can get into your network or get into your systems, find vulnerabilities. Now, if they were a black hat hacker, they would find vulnerabilities and then steal data and then run away. But a white hat hacker will go, oh, no, 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 I found some problems for you. Let me tell you about it. And uh, so they'll you know, make a report saying, oh, I, I, I got in this way. You had an exposed port here. Like just there's all these vulnerabilities on a network. They'll type it up, hand it to you and say, here is what I found. And then they may even say, here's how you can fix it. See, and it really it's the same skill set a black hat hacker would have. They're just using their their hacking skills for good, which is the only way I can advise you to do this. Now, it, it does sound cool to be a black hat hacker, you know, but it's it's stealing. It's it's theft. It's bad. Like go to jail bad. Go to jail for a long time bad, you know? So it's so cool we can learn the skills that are Let's be honest, sound kind of sexy, but we can use them for good, like a legit career, like your mom will be proud of you career. So that is what I'm doing this year, 2020. 
I am going to do my best to become a hacker. Uh, I'm going to learn the skills to become a hacker. I'm going to take you on that journey to see what it takes to actually become one. And then I may even try to do it professionally just for, just for a little bit to see what it's like. So I want to take you on a journey. I want to bring you along with me. How do we become a hacker? How does a hacker, uh, how's a hacker born? We're, we're going to go through that. I'll show you what skills to learn. I'll even teach you those skills on this channel. And, uh, I, you know, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wondered, like, what is it from step one uh, to step 503 to become a hacker? I'm hoping to uncover that and show you that. Now, there are a number of skills you need to become a great hacker. Um, things like learning how to program, learning a programming language like Python, uh, learning Linux, which, you know, everybody needs to learn Linux, says this guy. Knowing how a network works, knowing how Windows works, knowing how the cloud works. The, the funny thing is about hacking is it kind of... Um, combines everything you would typically learn in an in a IT role. If you want to become an IT admin, if you're going to administer Windows servers or administer Linux servers, all those skills to come into being a hacker, you'll, you'll just be trying to break those systems. You're trying to exploit those systems. You're using Python or another programming language to write scripts uh, to help you exploit those systems. Now I listed my number one IT skill. I think every IT person should learn in 2020 as being Linux. Linux is killer. So helpful in every area of IT right now. And very much so with hacking. So that's what I'm doing first. That's my target. I want to master Linux to, to a point where I feel proficient, where I can actually do a few things, where I can uh, be comfortable with hacking tools and start to really, really mess around with stuff. But how much is enough? I always run into that problem when you're learning a skill, how, how skilled do I need to be in order to be, you know, be a hacker? Uh, it's kind of hard to figure that out, which is why I love certifications. They kind of give you a, a, uh, a guideline, a rule book, like, hey, if you want to become pretty good in this uh, technology or this skill, you learn this much and you pass a test and you you kind of get a feeling like, oh, well, I know this now. So for me to learn Linux, I'm going to tackle the Linux Plus from CompTIA. So what am I going to use to study? Well, uh, CompTIA reached out to me. Thanks, CompTIA. <laughs> and they said, hey, try our Cert Master Plus. It's their new um, software that takes you through uh, a, a lot of their training. And uh, more specifically for me, the Linux Plus. So thank you, CompTIA, for letting me use your software. Uh, but I also asked them, I said, hey, uh, can I give some of that away as well? Can I bring some people along the journey with me? And they said, show sure enough, let's do it. So in this video, in partnership with CompTIA, I'm giving away two of their Cert Master Learn products for Linux Plus. And with that, the Linux Plus voucher which is amazing because the Linux Plus exam, just to take the exam costs like $319. And then their Cert Master Learn software costs like 400 bucks. So it's a killer thing. So um, link below to enter. And also if you just want to get the software and, and, and go down the Linux Plus path, links below for that. Now in 2020, if certification is the name of the game for you, if you're going to collect just a ton of CompTIA certs, um, they do have something pretty cool right now. It's called the, uh, hey, what do you think about it? It's called the uh, CompTIA store membership. Um, you sign up for it, you get 20% off the entire store for a year. That membership is 50 bucks for the entire year, ends up paying for itself pretty quick. So definitely check that out at the link below. So obviously if you're collecting a ton of CompTIA search this year, everything from the A+, Linux+, Security+, Plus, all the pluses, um, it's, a, it's a no brainer. It pays for itself in no time. So yeah, check it out at the link below. Oh, I gotta show all the butt. <laughs> Yes, she is. She's an IT pro in training. So that's my goal this year. I'm going to become a hacker. I'm going to take you down the path of how I'm going to figure it out and study for it. And eventually, um, at the end, actually do some hacking. Of course, I'll be making some hacking videos throughout. <laughs> I'll, be, uh, I'll be teaching you the, the skills I'm learning. So I'll, I'll show you some Linux. I'll show you a lot of Linux as I'm going down the Linux Plus path. And then, of course, the other skills, which I'll cover later. Well, guys, that's about it. Let me know if you want to become a hacker with me or if you're interested or you just want to see what it's like and, and, and you want to come with me on the journey. I'm cool with that, too. And again, if you want to win the Cert Master Learn and uh, Linux Plus voucher from CompTIA, link below for that. I'll be running that contest for about a week. Whew, that's about it. I better uh, end this before she spits up on me. I'll catch you guys later.